still on justice for Mubad. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you might become emotional on this one. I want you to nevertheless pay attention from the beginning to the end. A lot of things have started surfacing on justice for Mubad, on savory things and this could affect justice for Mubad. In fact, it is already affecting justice for Mubad. If you have taken time to do some analytical study, if you've taken time to study trends, patterns, you will understand what I'm saying. But I'm not going to go deeper because I want you guys to pay attention. I want you to hear from the beginning till the end what this is all about. It will blow your mind. It will shock you. Yes. So, Mobad's uh, inquest was put on a pause. Yes, on the pause. Why? Is it the state government? Is it the police? Or some anti-justice from Tim Wumi? Are they the ones that found a way to stop this movement towards the proper court. Well, if you've been subscribed to this channel, you probably must have heard one or two talks about it. What happened? What is happening now? Is there justice finally? Are we going to get justice or not? What is happening? Why is there a pause? Why is there a stop? Why is there a disagreement? What is this thing about public lawyer and uh, Mobas father's lawyer? Of course, being funded by the public. Do we have public A, B, C? A, Mobas father's lawyer and his own public. B, a charity called Ada Wazubia Foundation and their own public with some other people. You know, they are public with some other people. I mean, those people are kind of like uh, the chairman and chair lady of, I mean, they talk and they express their conclusion to the public for donation. And we have the C, Tim Wumi. What exactly is going on here? What exactly is happening here? You'll get to hear it all. And then we will be doing some kind of um, serious talk, analysis about it. Bankoli and Smith, or Smith and Bankole, and Mubad's father's lawyer, lawyer Shitu. Both of these um, lawyers are senior advocates, and we've been told they have vast experience in homicide. Maybe one, they say they are specialists in properties. Regardless, I don't know what is what. But what you're about to hear, what you're about to see, will shock you. So don't forget to like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. I went to the court today to see the proceeding of Pam uh, Colley and Smith concerning the state of proceeding. I was there today to witness everything. And the key, the key news is that the case has been opened officially and the adjournment is 28th of this month. So uh, may God help. By God's grace, I will be there by then also to still witness everything how it goes. So one more. Uh, once again, let me say thank you to everybody and uh, thanks for the sincere love and support. I got an information yesterday when they are dragging me on a particular platform on TikTok. Uh, say Arifa is working for Ada Universe and all that. So from this, somebody said that Ada Universe have promised Arifa a lawyer in exchange to what Arifa is doing. So that is the contract Arifa and Ada signed. That Ada Universe has promised to give Arifa a lawyer to undo Arifa case. In as much as Arifa can make sure the public welcome Barista Bankole. The public, please don't welcome Barista Bankole. Oh, I beg one of you. Nobody is opposing Barista Bankole on you guys. 
Please don't wake up by the bank or leave, leave him alone. Please. Yeah, please. Don't don't wake on him. Just fight your own. Let the barrister back only fight his justice. Don't wake on him. Shitu is there. He's working for you people. He's fine. Please don't accept him. Don't wake on him. Leave him. Mm. When I had when I had that, I smiled and I laughed. Because um these are stories that they just cook up uh in order to drag to tarnish images and all that smoke. Glory be to God. So far so good. Uh yesterday I was drunk for four hours, likewise today again, another four to five hours. Uh but I still stand strong and tall and I'm still on my feet seeking for the truth and fighting in the course of justice. So justice for Mubad uh, is my priority. Absolutely nothing and nothing more. And everybody. Thank you so very much for the sincerity, your time, uh, the financial support on justice for Mubad. And, I, and at the same time, I still need to apologize to everybody uh, on a particular video, I'm not going to mention any name, on a particular video that's that good. was played uh, that bully most of you people seeking for justice uh, in a manner that doesn't sound right. Let me play it. According to how I got the recording, please. Men are no vets. I don't, people don't, I don't, I will keep here and I'm not being. They will allow me to. So, even though they are not going to answer the question, or they will not allow anybody to answer the question, if no lawyer asks, I will ask. Do you understand? My stance still remains the same. So you know that if the right question is not being asked, like, you can never get the right answers. It wasn't edited. To me, all the questions that were asked that day, I jotted every damn thing. Page one, page two, three, four, five, six, seven different pages. I jotted both front and back. So if I am to count them, that is 14 different pages. All the questions that they asked that day, I have them with me. All the answers, I have them with me. None of them have asked this kind of question. They are only trying to ask questions based on their own client to be protected. This is my own view. I may be wrong. Nobody is asking questions in the interest of the public. Everybody is asking questions to protect their clients. Even when CY lawyers stood up to ask questions, is to protect CY. Do you understand? It is to protect CY. When Prime Boy lawyer is asking questions to protect Prime, he says, Are you telling me you that you went to get money from a far distance? You are now the one. Who saw Brian fighting with Mo? Sorry, please, you everyone. Um, Mr. Vengeance, please, what do you want to say? I, I wanted to play this off and let everybody understand. This is the recording he said I cropped, edited, and framed for 50 seconds. When I don't count time, whether 50 seconds never pass. Please, Mr. Vengeance, please, please say what you have to say. So I oh, continue. Sir, Thank you very much. Naimoli. If can you please start the uh, comfy? But they they nearly change comfy's mind on law uh, like that is their platform to do. If you can uh, tag comfy to come and hear this. Thank you. Thank you, Naimoli. I just have to say this. You can share the light for her. I can't tag that. Sorry, please. Please go ahead. I'm listening. There are two statements I want to make. Number one. There are three main elemental enemies of justice for Mobad. One, hypocrisy. Two, envy. Three, insatiety for richness. Owoti e shishefun. 
Those are the three things. Some bad judges of Mubadi Jai. Yeah. Number two statement I want to make. When you are talking about woman's enemy, that's when you start talking about women, anti-justice, and anti-justice, Baba Liam, and all that. So the problems that we are facing in this justice are divided into those two categories. Heaviness, hypocrisy, and owo olowo, tema da owo ti e shishefun, yusi ikumo badi, tema change in narrative. That's the enemy that we have in this justice, so God bless you all. Thank you very much, sir. So please, I'm going to continue. Stop flagging me. Why are people flagging me? What have I done? I abuse anybody again? You are, you are just going around flagging. And I think it's about time people need to report these people. You are flagging for what? I beg, let me tell you, my life does not contain the content mentioned. You are flagging. A hey, guilty me. Why are you flagging? Arifa, tell them. Other universe, stop flagging. Mo who saw Prime fighting with Mo. And before you get there, Mo that is a uh, uh, Prime that is even backing you. Please stop, 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 stop away. Okay. How did he Please get stop. to know that you are coming? He said, I shout. Ah, kilo shele, kilo shele. And immediately he heard my voice. He ran away. <laughs> a very good point. And no lawyer could ask any question to tighten that particular area. Like, have you and Prime ever had a physical battle encounter? Neomole. That can Please make stop. Prime to run away for you? Neomole, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it, it is important that we point out some so some of this thing that he's saying honestly yes we're in inquest lawa inquest arifa arifa you say you go to school now this is an inquest mm -hmm. where facts finding facts finding lower for whoa they might cross ask any question we're not in the real courts whatever they find out from here is what they will take to the courts of law so this is not court yet what you said is true. We target anybody. Everybody is writing their points down for now. Let's continue. Thank you very much, ma'am. Because that was why I was yeah. analyzing that. Please, let me play yeah. on. That's why I come up. Oh. Mr. No Ito, okay. the day you quest, no be long for the day. Mr. No Ito, was Prime Boy lawyer sleeping to you? Papa, where lawyer is not asking questions. At least Prime Boy yeah. lawyer is defending Prime Boy. And this particular case, there is, is, is even Prime Boy that that's their line of form. Why Prime Boy lawyer cannot interject or ask questions? Thank you. Let me continue, please. So the, the, the first one is um, a three minutes, 10 seconds. Okay. It's about to finish. Please hold on. If you have already had any kind of encounter that make, maybe you injured Prime, he may be scared. But if there's nothing of such, what is the major reason why would prime run away from you it even shows that i did not witness anything that happened between prime and no so this is the first one that one has finished let me play the second one which is um that one is a three minutes 13 seconds video hold on please i will play it again that one be, let me see if it's the 13 minutes there might be me because that day I played it according to to protect I, each of their clients so the to protect the each of seconds. their clients. I will not be able to show you people the face like so. That. To my view, in, actual, I don't see in this I case, see. let me be frank I'm with everybody. Mubad did not have lawyer. Nobody is representing Mubad. Nobody is representing continuation. Mubad. There's no cut and join. Mm. We are the year. Mm. Nobody needs talking. The legal team is representing Baba Mubad, not Mubad. Have you seen that? Mm. Mm. And in as much, Mubad did not have a legal representative. At the inquest, nobody is fighting for Mubad. Mm. Absolutely nobody is fighting for Mubad. Nobody is asking questions regarding to Mubad now. Everybody is asking questions to protect their clients. 
and the truth be told. You heard it now. He said the truth be told. Which one is this? This is not to subject anybody to dragging. Not at all. Did he analyze there? No. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Luomo. Nobody is fighting for this boy at the inquest. Mm. Prime boy lawyer will protect Prime. That is what he's paid to do. Baba, lawyers will protect Baba. You said it. That is what he's paid to do. Okay. Wumi's lawyer will protect Wumi. Darusha's lawyer is protecting Darusha. Adula's lawyer will protect Adula. If Mama Mubad get lawyer, he will protect Mama Mubad. Who is protecting me? It is defend. One defend in the lawyer does not protect anybody. Alone, no protect Bobowa. It's only who defend the right to Ah, it's not def, It's not protect. No Client. one is protecting no one. Defending his clients. God bless Thank you. you. Let me continue playing, please, so that people will don't get. Because Mubad lawyer will stand in the position of all these questions. When you took my client's body. Did you people take him home direct? Or did you people take him to any hospital? Yeah, we took him home from the hospital. We are told that they gave you people a death certificate. Uh, who report. received it? Or doctor's report? Who received it? Where did you people put it? Why didn't you people use it as an evidence to keep my clients at the morgue? Why did you take him home? These are questions that will be directly coming from his own lawyer. But she lawyer will be say that they sue the lawyer to to court. Corona inquest, they invite the lawyer to come and answer questions. Now you want to question another person. So this is where I believe things is getting a bit mixed up. All those lawyers are extremely intelligent. They are doing their work diligently. But each and everybody is doing their work according to their parts. Everybody is doing their work according to their parts. My lawyer is to protect me. Your lawyer, expounder, is to protect you. Each and everybody's lawyer is to protect the person. To protect each of their okay, clients. That. That's the three minutes eleven seconds. He accused me on the life that I cropped, I munched, I, I did said in order to defame him. And he has been going around crying, crying. Please, I will continue. Hold on, please. The next video is going to be one minute fourteen seconds. Hold on, please. Because when people are cutting a video, it will, you will you will might so that we can have this thing. So the other one is about 11, 1 minute 15 seconds. Sorry, please pay attention. Continue. Absolutely. Thank you very much, sir. the SAN. Lawyer to Mubad's family. Not to Mubad, but his family. Among the family who is fighting for the justice, only Baba Mubad. What are we talking about? Mr. Kende? Can you play that again, please? Play that part again, please. I will definitely listen to it, expounder. Can you hear that? I'm concerned to this proceeding, sir. What have you to? The SN, lawyer to yeah. Mubad's family. Yeah. Yeah. Who is loyal to Mubad himself? Carefully. Mm. Mm. He's arguing about. I don't understand though. Where I dragged him. Somebody said the father is the owner of the lawyer. He's the one looking for justice. Yes, he's the owner of the he's, he's the owner of the lawyer. But don't get it twisted that the people involved in this case are also looking for way to crucify Baba Mubad, to bring him to the picture of the case. They want this man to be crucified. They want this man, if possible, to be prosecuted. So, all these lawyers are now working hard for this man not to be crucified. Not for this boy, but for the man, unknowingly. 
because I'm not prepared to believe that they are doing it deliberately. No, it is natural. You defend your clients in the law. It is natural. Somebody said the father is the owner of. So those are the videos. You all have heard it. Please, which one is five seconds that I cut and I want to defame him? When I hear the, even the major parts on his own. So on that live, what happened was this. I only said, when I heard this, this record in that live stream was on the 28th of September. Arifala Jogun set live. And he was trying to, you know, bring in a um, public lawyer. I got messages from some people saying, ah, Arifa is like he has really messed up it's like arifa has been bought it's like this is like that that's what was allegedly said i heard i read it and i was saying no you guys relax i said when i got the video i also i said do you have evidence or something? someone has sent me a video i said thank god i did not attend the life and i don't follow him so i was lucky not to have listened to it right there because i will be so irritated i will send requests and i will go and talk so i only just said that that after that 28 he already pushed in for a uh, public lawyer on the 30th if you remember on the 30th um sanshitu was the only one that got the stay of proceedings and there was a narrative that the stay of proceeding was more or less like sanshitu should stay back at home so what they are already doing was that even them and the i'll call them anti-justice them iris and co the most they have been saying it that um mr bankole if you notice ever since on the 11th of after that inquest they have been pushing that narrative that mr smith is not working so i now said it in my head i said but arifa on the 11th 13th when he even came back he talked about the sun i will play the sun's recording for people to hear and arifa himself did hmm at the back of that recording when sanchitu spoke and sanchitu hours after he said three things can be established now he's taking me back to that video that um that is live stream that happened before the inquest where sanchitu was given a letter of proceedings that could that be so when people talk and i said i don't want wahala that will not play it since people are saying let us give him the room to show himself that maybe he doesn't understand what he was saying i said no problem but some people said they wanted me to play it and i played these four recordings i said it's not coming the same way because sometimes the way somebody will even send it it will not be the same way even the way i've played it now might not come the same way but please add your one and two together give us to the same people that she told us on his own life that we are not a public she has her own public let me play you um sanchitu statements because some people have not been playing the full recording of sanchitu on the 11th after that inquest i will play it for you or to hear please listen now if i ask question even this one is not even full safe but i will play it may i just hear the recording please it's still <laughs> Is that? In what circumstances did he die? die? Those are the two questions. Uh, and so, if we narrow our satellite, that is why today's proceedings is part. Okay, the major video because this one. What can you do? Rocha's testimony today. Then Sanchitu now started that talk. Where I taste that from? Really very useful. is such light on the on the two questions and uh, today three things came out clearly today. number one sir that Mubad sustained injuries arising from his uh, scuffle with Pramboy. Okay. That's number one. Two, uh, a nurse was calling who injected Mubad. That is true. Now that pay attention to three. Three. Mubad and his wife were used to having occasional disagreements. Even we're having disagreements while the journey lasted to and from the residence to the school. Now the questions you want to ask yourself is this. Whether an injury, however, 
whatever minor can cause the death of a human being. We know that injury, whether major or minor, can cause death. Two, whether if somebody is injected, we need to find out the nature of the injection. Whether it was the right injection or application of the wrong word, injection. And whether such injection can also cause what? Three. Sorry, it's Butin, it's coming up, please. It is not uh, normal. Husband and wife have the same sentiments. Those are issues. I'm not the corona. The corona will decide. But what is clear from the testimony of Darosha today, which was also contained in the report of the pathologist is that he sustained injuries on his forearm. I want to pose the question. If the pathology found as a matter of fact that Lake Mubarak actually sustained injuries, and if Narosa has also confirmed that he sustained injuries, whether such injuries is not there, and if it's also confirmed that he was ejected, whether it is right for the pathologist to now conclude that the cause of death cannot be ascertained. True. That's a very good one. Thank you. And uh, you've just heard <laughs> a kind of mind blowing information that, uh, that is going to give so many clues. Lies. Arifa, you agree to what this man said on the spot. God bless you, man. You are, you are blown away with that kind of information that he gave. And the narration, it was so straightforward. Oh, you boy, let you need explanation. God bless you, man. I'm going to replay the last line again. You all, please listen. And if it's also confirmed that he was ejected, whether it is right for the pathologist or not, that the cause of death cannot be ascertained. That's a very good one. Thank you. And uh, you've just heard <laughs> a kind of mind blowing information that. Uh, that is going to give so many clues. Lies. So you've all heard it. When I heard this, I said, on that day, even me, I was telling people, there was a day I did a live stream. We played this thing and analyzed it again before even the 28th. But what did he do? He said his own life and did this. When he played his own on the 28th, that was one I played before this one. You all heard him saying it's that Sanshitsu is fighting for Baba. Mo doesn't have a lawyer, which Paparano, Aries, and Co. All of them have been pushing out, saying they are the public, they want Baba to step back and they should let their lawyer work. Why didn't he discredit Sanshitsu on the 11th, 12th, 13th was there, not until 28th? So I was like, I know I'm an overthinker. People will say I'm an overthinker, but this is what I am thinking. And he claimed that he watched that life for four good hours. And yet went on different platforms right from that night saying I was dragging him. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, it's so sad. Now, all of this is centered on accountability. Muba's father was not also spared from it. They had asked him to produce bank statement Muba's father's brother who resides in the u.s said he will be handling it we heard that he eventually produced a bank statement with the names of those that donated blurred out inflow and outflow of cash shown balance shown with date and time that is what accountability is called now the case of uh, the blogger and the creator or founder of this charity, Ada Wazobia. It is something that is all over social media right now. Why is it so uh, much of a 
pressing issue on the minds of a lot of people. The lawyer that they got through public donation, like I told you at the beginning, I said, it's like we have public A, B, C. They got a lawyer called Bankole and Smith. Bankole and Smith, hmm, since they could not be allowed to continue the inquest to cross-examine, they had to rush to get a kind of uh, <laughs> legal judgment, sort of, to stop the inquest from proceeding. And um, they got it, like, really stopped. Or well, let's say they, they put a pause to it, which has caused a lot of justice for mobile fans um, anguish. Many of them are not happy. They are wondering if Party A or Public A are really into getting justice for mobile. Now, everything might appear muddled up, sort of. What do I mean? Um, there are times that you take action at the wrong time, even though you have a good intention. And um, there are times that your intention are not right at all. But all of your action, um, they, 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 they might appear right to people. It's a complex issue. But one thing is this. If you are involving the public in your situation, meaning you have asked the public to help you or the public chose to help you, don't forget there is a saying, he or she who pays the piper dictates the tune. If they are giving you money, they want to know from you who the legal representative is going to be. They want to see how much such representatives will be paid. They want to see the inflow and outflow of cash. That is what they call transparency. Very important. Now, if you now think if money is given to me, I didn't ask you guys, you gave it to me. You should not ask me how the money is being spent. Of course, if you did not ask but they donated to you, they can as well request for their money back and you have no option than to return back through the same means that it got into your account. You might be like, okay, you know what? We are not giving you any more. We want our money back. But that is not the case presently. It has not gotten to that point. Talks right, left, and center. Is Bankoli and Smith the best lawyer? We heard that Bankoli and Smith, when they attended the inquest at the beginning, initial stage, they performed excellently. We also heard that lawyer Sanshitu performed excellently in this last inquest. Now, is it, it did he perform because there is a threat to his service? Now, what we need to understand is this. Mobad's, uh, Mobad's father had gone through not one, not two, I think, about two lawyers, one Odumosu and I can't remember the name of the other, before they brought in Sanshitu. So we can as well say about three lawyers, sort of. And this is the third one. And it seems this third one, somehow, if care is not taken, it will be another fourth lawyer, which is this Bankoli and Smith. Now, if Bankoli and Smith and Sanshitu work hand in hand, now this is another um, thought, opinion out there. If both of them work together, will they be able to unravel? Will they be able to sort? Or is it going to be a competition of who is better in cross-examination? Will one lawyer 
query the other, blame the other, saying, hey, you should not have asked this, this that you have asked, you have already destroyed this, now they are going to prepare this, they are going to open, or will both lawyers have a meeting to decide on how to move? I know Sanchi too might want to operate. I know Bankoli and Smith might want to operate solo. Because both of them are aware. But one thing about this um, thing is, as long as money is being paid for their services in full, they will. It's about service. But what I'm saying is this. Along the way, there's a possibility of Bankoli and Smith doing more, shining more, and then certain persons will say, you see, you look at the caliber or the kind of question that Bankole and Smith asked to me. Look at Sanshitu. He's just there sleeping, acting like he's not awake. Please, 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 public, don't donate anymore. Baba Mobad, please, we cannot continue to sponsor this Sanshitu. Go home. <laughs> it's a serious issue. A very serious one. There is no crime in having multiple senior advocates on this matter. We all know the complexity of it and how far we've gone. There's no crime in it. It is all about uh, both lawyers coming together, having a meeting, coming to a conclusion on how to move on how to proceed on this justice for Mubad. What we want is a quick move from the inquest down to the proper court. Because this fact-finding, as it appears, there's a possibility that it culprits those that are responsible for the demise of Mubad, which is the major reason why a lot of people are donating. We are hearing a huge amount of money. I don't know how true, but you saw um, some updates here and there. And also here, you, you heard from our guest trying to play some audio and then um, analyze. And it's a serious issue. I don't have issues with people digging deep. That is how it's supposed to be. We're all supposed to police each other. This is how countries that a lot of people embrace work. You cannot allow someone to operate because you just trust that person and that's it. Occasion, occasional, you know, it's called maintenance. Occasional integrity check is required. Transparency should not be requested. It should be ready. It should be presented without being asked. So, um, I will not want to go further much on the foundation and their approach. I mean, they got a lawyer um, and um, they decided to move through a foundation. Um, there they is not possible for a public or in court public to get a lawyer without a structure because the public cannot be held responsible if payment is not uh, given out to the law firm for their services. But if there is a registered foundation, that's how it works. It's common sense. You go to meet a lawyer. We are for justice for Mobad. Okay, so what do you guys want us to do? We want you to represent us. The other lawyer is not functioning as... They should. Um, we want ours and uh, this and that. Now, prior to this, prior to this, Sanshitu, that was uh, selected by Mubat's father and brother, Muywa, and maybe some other persons. I don't know. Um, I, obviously, they, they got, uh, maybe they got some people to refer them so somehow there must be a reference and that's how they got 
Sanchitu, they said he's a very good lawyer. He's an expert in cases like that of Mobad, like this. So, um, so far, so good. Um, he has done what he can right now. He has done what he can. And I think before he started performing, before people could see how good he was or the results, the foundation with certain persons had uh, made contact with the Bankole and Smith. So Bankole and Smith also joined after um, discussion on payment. So when they joined, they were allowed in, I guess, I think, if I'm correct, from the previous audios, and the court had stopped them. Not really the court, per se. There is a body that uh, controls this, decides on who to accept in for the inquest, who can cross-examine and who cannot. So, um, this body kicked Bankole and Smith out. Bankole and Smith had to fight back legally. And the reason why they were kicked out is this. The foundation that employed them is not registered in Nigeria. So, they had to be kicked out. Now, Bankole and Smith went ahead to get an injunction to stop the inquest until they are given permit to be present, permit to cross-examine, permit to be part of the corona inquest. Well, let us see how all of this will turn out to be. Um, it's okay to have this legal, you know, kind of thing once in a while. Let us shake the system a bit and see what we will come up with. A lot of people are tired once or twice, Corona inquest, and uh, we are not getting anything right. Is Bankole and Smith going to work? Are they going to press and push? Are they going to get the nurse? Because it's like people are not even getting it right. Who are those that were there when Mobad passed away? Who are the people surrounding Mobad? All of those people should be at the inquest the same day. Cross-examination, questions asked here, the other asked here, that asked here. Let's see how their stories will corroborate. Let's see what's going on. The police have failed. It, 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 it almost became hopeless. So let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. It is not a border on Sanchito. Neither is it going to be a border on Bankole and Smith. If it is about money, Donations are coming in. Are they going to work together? Now, that's the problem. Are they going to work against each other? That's another problem. We are expecting them to work together. So, Bankole and Smith is now Mobad's lawyer, whilst Sanshitu is now Mobad's father's lawyer. Why? Is there this mix-up? Mobad's father is not getting a lawyer for himself. Mobad's father employed a lawyer. I mean, not really like he's the one paying, but that lawyer paid for by the public is to represent the concerns, pain, sorrow, anguish of Mobad's father and fans of Mobad. That is what Sanchitu represents. So Mobad's father is not part. Mobad's father is not a, 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 what what because I heard from Arifa saying that uh, from the look of things it appears as if Mubaz's father is now part of the whole thing. They are accusing Mubaz's father, accusing Mubaz's father. So Mubaz's father needs his own lawyer to set him free, as if Mubaz's father is part of the demise of Mubaz. Uh, they said he had buried his son um, too quick. They said that he, he buried his son alive. They said that he did. He did. No, all of those things are just errors, mistakes. It has nothing to do with crime. Mubad's father was not there when Mubad passed away. He's not part of why Mubad passed away. He was called. He came. So I heard Arifa, one of the justice for Mubad, saying these things. You know, that does not add up. It's not making sense. It's not making sense. He might have his own personal, you know, issues that he needs to deal with. And he's also thinking about his own 
part of it. How do I get out of this mess? But you cannot muddle things up. It is not possible. Muba's father's lawyer, that's Sanshitu, is not there to defend Muba's father. Yes, the other um, day, I mean the last inquest, we heard from Darusha. He alleged that Muba's father was there when he put salt on the chest of Mubad, accusing Mubad's father that you were there when I put the salt on his chest and I sent your son, Adura, to go get it. Now, Mubad's father said, I wasn't there. I came in, I saw my son under the staircase. This is what he said in, past, in time past and this is what he's saying. So somehow, Arifa is saying they have roped Mubad's father. No, that's not how it works. And Mubad's father's lawyer, now it has become Mubad's father's lawyer, need to set Mubad's father free from the accusation. No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. I don't know what your thoughts are. It's getting serious. Drop your comments. See you guys in the next update.